I do like Navi's draft, it looks very yeah. safe, but I think Fnatic has just the right stuff to make the combo work really well. You turn Tidehunter into a hero that's just useful for his drive. Oh, Eternal Envy, the bottom lane, has a homing missile running after him, and that is going to be enough to secure your first blood for Crystal. Two-man smoke up here, LeBron and Lil. The two newcomers to Navi, forming the support duo. Try and catch Abed from behind. They're a great position to do so. Dendi already leads with the Dragon Form stun. They should get some pretty nice combination here to bring Abed down. Sword, I mean, he's pinging. They want to try to make a move on this. Pilot Die is going to swing around in the trees. Viz. Be able to snag up LeBron. Lil is going to go for the telekinesis. Nice play. Instead of thinking, I'm going to stop DJ Shackle, I'm just going to throw Pilot Die up on the cliff, and that's going to be a freebie for Navi. Having people be motivated to play their roles, like these are the stuff that'll matter as up at top, Fnatic. Making the rotation here from move. Eternal Envy with a Gyrocopter. Gonna drop that ultimate. They do manage to finish off the Disruptor with a Poison Damage, and they're also gonna be on the snare of the Gyrocopter. So they're gonna throw down that Ravage, oh, and catches. manage to catch the Death Prophet with the slower tentacles, and actually manage to get delay stun out here. They've already thrown one stun, and they're not gonna be able to stop this double TP that comes out from Fnatic. Just Tinkers, because you have a high amount of regen. And armor so that you can essentially just tank the power and you don't really care too much as Lil. Oh, they're gonna throw down a counter Viper strike here, but Lil is gonna tank enough that he will fall. Really like though that uh, Envy's sitting mid right now. They need to defend this mid tower. They knew this dive was coming on the side of Fnatic. They tried to position accordingly, but we'll see if they can actually win the fight out here. General's Jones already low, low, half HP. He needs to be able to get good spirit siphons off and he does get a decent amount, they but Ravage is enough. They're gonna be able to turn this around. The Ravage goes down, does catch by as well as Eternal Envy in the back line. Solid it up with a stun from Dendi, and that will be two down from Fnatic. So that being said, a lot of this has got to be the the failure in teamfights here for Fnatic. Has got to be because of the fact they don't have level six Nagas are in top lane. General, oh, you out just a bit too far, ends up getting caught by both the Tide Hunter and the Shadow Shaman. He's actually keeping himself alive with the spirits. I, I thought he was dead for sure. Abed blinks forward, but oh, he's, he's gonna, gonna go get for it. it. He goes for it. Of course, he does. The balls, just to just say, hey, there's nobody from Navi that's going to come back and help him. I'm going to dive behind this tier two tower where he could have been completely caught out. But he did have some vision of to the cores of Navi. Bottom lane, they've got a really good ward spotting out the two supports as well. They just caught Pilot Die within the ultimate. They're going to try and burst him from afar. It looks like they should be able to do that. They don't want to overextend themselves, though, into a Viper with the Tinker in good positioning here. And that's why Dandy's just going to go for the TP out. All of Navi, in fact, are going to go for mass TPs away. He's oh, engaged. looks like they might have caught on top lane. Shadow Shaman? Homing Missile running him down. And the Clump back as well. Oh. Oh, Static Storm is being here. Drafted. LeBron. He's in serious trouble. The march is not quite enough to be able to finish him off. Let's see if he could juke out. DJ here throws down the kinetic field to no, stop he's gonna run into the and runs into the creeps. Trying to juke the creeps as well. Deeper into the trees. Crystallize ends up dying to Abed. Meanwhile, bottom lane, they managed to get the stun out into the Naga Siren. Trying to pop her as quick as possible. She's down. Move on to the next. Spirit Siphon hoping to be able to grab some of these heroes while LeBron jukes his way through the trees a little bit farther. But DJ finally found him. Gets it with a static shot. Looks like Jenna was not enough to be able to slow down these heroes. Now with Abed here, as well as the break, they're going to be able to throw down the Ravage, catching both these cores, and see if they can just burst down this death prop, but he still had two Spirit Siphon stacks, and he's put them both. Eternal Envy still has not been able to break his slow down, caught by Dendi, will end up falling. Now, Abed is still here with the Tinker, laying down constant damage, but Fnatic have managed to, managed to make it work so far. Dialed down a Isla dies a lot of space creation. Look at this positioning right here, stopping the smoke rotation. He knew that was coming for DJ. Walks close to the missile, too. Now, are they actually going to fight this one? They're bringing the Dragonite as well as the Death Prophet from Na'Vi. They know this is going to be a full-out fight. They may have caught LeBron, but it looks like with a counter sleep coming out from Lil, he's going to kill the wards, and they're going to get on top of both these heroes with a nice double silence, see if they can catch DJ as well. He's going for a TP out, so that's not going to happen. But they do see the Tinker. If they can actually keep the damage on him, he won't be able to blink himself out. He keeps on rearming, going for the blink, but not able to do it. They snitched on him. Oh, they got him. They really did with the telekinesis toss back into the gyrocopter. Bonk. That was a very... That was not what I expected. He was completely in vision. He just got lifted and killed. Did, I, I mean, he had to have known about the blink dagger on Lil. That's been up for a very yeah. long time. That was such a... Okay, the, the shrine move was so cool by Abed. Yeah. Then he makes... <laughs> A little bit of a slot. Look at him, look at him, he's blink rearming. He gets the telekinesis. His team is still so far away, and now he's completely out of man. 
But they got the glimpse back, so it actually ends up working until the Song of Siren holds them all in place. Okay, they are all stacked up. He is, still has Homing Missile as well as Spirit Siphon, as well as the Thunder Strike on him. They're still going to be able to run him down. Zap! Oh, maybe they just double blink on to Naga Strike. But here comes a Ravage. Universe sets it and hits four with DJ already following that up with the Shackles. Lil's dead. Next, they're going to focus on the Death Prophet, who has the extra them out, so they say, forget it. Let's get out of here, boys. They throw down that song There's and a gem reset on the ground. this fight. Pai just swoops in, takes the gem, and then leaves. All right, cool. That sounds like a huge win to me. BKB's oh, DJ actually too. just found another one. He's going to be able to blink forward, grabs LeBron. Now they're turning around, though. Here comes Dendi. Double silence. Going to be able to throw the stun onto the Shadow Shaman, burst him down. Next up, Universe with the Exorcism still out. They still have plenty of physical damage. They're going to be able to get Pilot Die as well. Please don't tell me Abed's going to be caught by this. He's laying down some premium damage right now with those lasers. But the BKB finally wears out from Dendi. He's in trouble. Double gems on the ground. But unfortunately for Na'Vi, they could not actually get it. Blink away from the Viper Strike just in time for the Death Prophet. So they turn, they do win that fight, but they don't actually get the gems out of the situation. Bottom. They may actually find a good fight, though, though. Ooh, quick blink. He does have the backup the rest of his team. 20 seconds until Exorcism is back up. They actually manage to catch Pilot Die here, put him in the Static Storm, burst him while he's Lil's still gone. silence. They get him. Lil died to that Tinker at the same time. So it's a four on four. Peter comes four. He's got 12 seconds until the Ravage. And they manage Look to grab him. They manage to the carry. Gyrocopter's locked out by DJ. What a catch by him with a blink forward. That may win them the fight. Tinker manages to TP out just barely ahead of a stun. Denny now has to TP out himself, but he's going to be stunned up by DJ. DJ, DJ, DJ catches more! He actually big forward and stopped General from TPing out as well. He managed to make sure that nobody from Navi is going to escape from this. It's going to be total five-man wipe. Unless he managed a quick blink. Oh, he does. General. And now they're in a position where this Tinker is oh, that so was far. Well He's got Dagon 5 Hex, by the way. Yeah, Crystal Ice is coming in from the side here. They're going to go ahead for the initiation. They managed to smoke around with a beautiful static storm. They've locked in the Tidehunter. They're going to try and blow up this Tinker as quick as possible, and they should be able to do it too with Crystal Ice and Dendi both popping their BKBs. The Viper is nothing to them. They get two of the cores so far, but Universe did manage to escape, so they're going to try and chase him down, but he is a blink too far, oh, unless Lil tries. He catches him. Just keep damage on him, and don't let him TP. Oh, jeez. Oh, Everyone just pre pops BKB. They're like, there's no way we can afford to lose this fight. The break was applied to the Envy. Dies very quickly. Grab Universe. The Sleep is now popped in mid lane. DP though, gonna pop his ult, run forward. They might just catch Pi here for free. He is gonna go down. Laser stops some of the damage, but not enough, especially with the Exorcism out now. Here comes the TP from Eternal Heavy with damage already on some of the members of Na'Vi. Especially general, we're seeing every single core yeah. pick that up. Then he just has to stand on top of this. Oh, he's gonna stun. do that. He's gonna break the. Uh, oh no, he got off the BKB. They didn't get the stun out fast enough. The Song of Siren goes down, but the BKBs cast on both of the cores. They can Universe still get some damage somewhere, and they managed to find DJ. They actually slept up, but they still managed to get some damage out as the song fades. Ravage goes down, managed to catch all five in the bouncing laser. This is not good for Navi. Dragonite tries to charge back into this one, but Abed in the back line still has plenty of mana. We'll be able to burst down the Gyrocopter, and they're just gonna control up Dendi as best as possible. He goes Invis, tries to bounce back from this fight. He's still the here comes the refresher. He actually stops DJ though. Midway through war drops. He still managed to get a lot down though. The gyrocopter is having a tough time being able to deal with that one. Mass buybacks. Viper is finally going to be losing oh, his here, but they do not have the dragon form. Double kill from the wards. Somebody's got to deal with the rest of these wards. Looks like they will not lose their tier four out of this. So this was not the big objective win. They're hoping to be able to catch up a bit, and they caught him. With the Static Storm, oh, what a great four staff. Can they actually keep Abed alive here? He's going to be glimpsed back into the Static Storm a little bit more. Denny's going to pop One his Dragon Horn to make sure he dies. So it's gonna, probably going to cost Denny his life here, but maybe they can still get a fight off this one. Abed Tinker already bought back, though. They're going to go for the Song of Siren, see if they can catch General. They, catch they General, already have the, the Dragonite game. down for two minutes. If they get General as well, that's going to be the end of the game right there. And they managed to catch him. Turns him into a piggy. The control from Abed is constantly going to be there, so General is going to die. That's going to be two heroes down for a minute and a half. Really hard to stop this now on the side of Navi without any buybacks. The Ravage just straight up on the Gyrocopter. He does have the Glimmer Cape, trying to buy him some time there. They have the He's gonna pop his BKB now. Turns. 
but those targets are not ideal here. Oh, DJ just runs forward. Yeah, but he's going to double drop the wards now. Those tier fours are going to drop so quickly. Abed just full on in the front face of both of those supports, yeah. takes him down and forces Navi into the GG call. And our homing missiles out of the game. <laughs> it was a really odd game. It was.